every time I eat, I am uh, reminded of the meager existence that we as humans live. Aside from all of the uh, complexities of language and the social structure and hierarchy and the clothes that we're supposed to wear, the way we're supposed to act in public and in home, I mean, ultimately we all sit down and eat something that just came out of the ground. You know, if it's mom was eating basil yesterday, she went outside, pulled it out of the dirt, and continued to eat it. Yesterday I ate a hot dog that came out of pig intestines or, you know, ground up pieces of animals. You know, we live in such a convenient society today that that's the only way vegetarians can exist because we live in a society where we don't, we never have to see animals get hurt. If you're driving along and you see a squirrel run over by a car, you go, aww. But if it weren't for the way we live today, I mean, oh, it's dead. In fact, you might have killed it yourself. There's something wrong with killing animals. They die. And plus, we have to eat them. If you uh, think that we're not meant to or we're better than eating animals, then just look at the teeth we got. We do have incisors and molars and, you know, they're meant, they're omnivorous teeth. We got sharp ones and dull ones, pretty much. But just, you know, it's just overwhelming that we eat and we need to eat, you know what I mean? Just, you know, even like Cheetos, they're, uh, the corn is grown using dirt and water. And that goes into a factory, and it comes out Cheetos, but still, you know, how much of a difference is it really? Just because it's in a, just because it was processed, doesn't mean we're any better than animals, I guess, is one of the ideas I'm trying to say. There's a lot of extra complexity, but... It's, in the end, it's not all that complex.